Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to transform a serene, beautiful day into an apocalyptic nuclear explosion. This document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Click on your adjustment layer icon and choose hue saturation. Click colorize, make the hue zero, and change the saturation to 50. Make the opacity 50%. Click on the new layer icon to make a new layer and press Control shift alt e or command shift option e on a Mac to make a composite snapshot and place it in this layer. We'll make a copy of it by pressing Control or command plus j. Call up your zoom tool and press alt or option as you click a couple of times on the image to reduce its size. Press Control or Command plus T to call up your Transform tool and click on the Warp icon. Now click and drag out points and lines of the grid to stretch and bend the shape of the image to convey the effect of a nuclear blast, like the trees arching back. To see the entire image on your screen again, press Control or Command plus zero. Click on the New Layer icon to make a new layer and press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill the layer with black. Go to Filter, Render, and Lens Flare. Make the brightness 75% and use the 50 to 300 millimeter zoom lens. Go back to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. We'll blur it by 25 pixels. Change the Blend Mode to Color Dodge. We'll make a copy of this layer and change the blend mode to hard light. Press Control or Command plus T to call up your transform tool and we'll change the width and height using these fields. In the width type in 400% to stretch out the layer horizontally and for the height type in 150%. We'll make a copy of this layer and then call up the transform tool. Click on the top middle point and press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and drag down to squeeze the transform. Type in 400% for the width. Make a copy of the layer and call up your transform tool. Click on the chain link. This links the width and height of the transform so they both conform to the same percentage amounts. I'll type in 5000% to really blow it out. To accept it, click on the check mark. Now we'll take that layer that we just enlarged and we'll change the blend mode to overlay. We'll make a copy of this layer to make it more intense. Next, we'll make a copy of the sliver of light in the middle. Press Ctrl or Command plus J and then move it right to the horizon line. Call up your transform tool and go to the top middle point and press shift and alt or shift and option and drag it up a bit to thicken the light. Then press enter or return. We'll make a copy of it to increase its intensity. Click on the top layer then click on the new layer icon and press alt or option plus delete to fill it with black. Go to filter Render and Clouds. Click on the Adjustment Layer icon and choose Gradient. Click on the Gradient and click on the Black and White Foreground to Background preset. Click on the bottom left stop and click on the color box. Choose a bright yellow. I'm using F9D300. Click on the lower right stop and choose a dark brownish color. I'm using 443B06. Close out all the windows. Press and hold Alt or Option as you hover your cursor between the adjustment layer and the layer beneath it. When you see the overlapping circle symbol, click down. This creates a clipping mask which instructs the adjustment layer to only affect the one layer beneath it. Click on the clouds layer and change the blend mode to overlay.
This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.